What's up, family? How's everybody doing? Um, come on in, man. Share. Um, if you're watching on Facebook, watching on YouTube, um, share and with the share the, the way that you can. I'm um, on the platform that you're watching. Um, just if you're watching on YouTube, you can um, click that share button um, there on YouTube and share it with somebody. And same thing on Facebook. Um, so however you need to share it, you can tag somebody um, and let them know that you want them to be a, a part of this. I hope everybody's doing good, man. I hope you're <laughs> hope you had a, a, a good day. Um, I had a had a had a really good day, busy day. Um, busy day, but um, it's, it's it's all good. It's the the life of a bivocational pastor, um, so it's it's all good. Um, just say go grab somebody, man, and tell tell them come on in um, real quick. Um, shout out to all the Highway Hampton family, um, those that are that rock with us in person, those that connect with us online. Uh, we so greatly appreciate you and appreciate your presence. Um, just to tell, go get somebody, tell them, come on quick, man. I'm not going to be long tonight. Um, just to just want to share something with you that the Lord placed on my heart um, to share. So go get somebody and tell them, um, come, come be a part um, of this. Um, we're excited, man, about what God is doing um, in our midst, um, in our church, man. God is really bl blessing and um, people lives are being changed. So we're excited about that. Um, and we're excited. Um, we recently had the opportunity man, to help some people that are less fortunate um be able to feed some people um so we were excited about that um and this sunday this fourth sunday um is our food sunday so i'm asking everybody that come in person man if you can just bring um one um non-perishable food item man it'll help us help um the, the the food pantry um there in the city of hampton with um help help inc is the organization um, they have a food pantry right there in Hampton. Um, and the end of the month is typically when their um, food items get low. Um, so we try to be a blessing to them. We try to be a blessing to them as they be a blessing to other people. Um, those are the less fortunate. So um, ask everybody on the fourth Sunday, the last Sunday of the month, um, if you could just bring one food item, not asking you to buy, get a whole nother grocery bill. But if you can just pick up one additional item um, and if all of us do that, um, that that goes a long way with helping helping people um, that are less fortunate and don't have. So thank you in advance for that. Thank you. And we appreciate it. Um, we we bought um, we had enough food. Um, we think it's about three hot breakfast meals um, that we're going to be able to provide um, for them, uh, for those that I believe those those that are. Um, in the in the shelter. Um, so we had enough, I think it's about three, yeah, probably about three um, hot breakfast meals um, that was delivered to them on yesterday. Um, that was delivered to them on yesterday. And that's because of your giving, man, because of your giving, um, we are able to do stuff like that. And we want to continue to do things like that and bless those um, who are less fortunate around us. So um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And for everybody, I said, you give an offering, you're tithing, um, all of that. That's what allows us to help those that are that are less fortunate. So we appreciate you um, doing that. All right. Um, I said, yeah, good, good evening to, to everybody. And just hopefully you went tag somebody, you went got somebody, you did did all that good stuff. Um, I want to I want to talk to you um, tonight. I want to talk to you about how to move forward, um, about how to move forward. And I want to look at a portion of scripture um, that's familiar. A lot of people, this this portion of scripture is they're familiar with. Um, and it's Exodus 14 and 13, starting at verse 13. It's Exodus 14, starting at verse 13. And it reads like this. It says, and Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the, the deliverance the Lord will bring to you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. <laughs> Moses, why are you crying to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. 
I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they would go in after them. And I will gain glory through Pharaoh and all his army, through his chariots, through his chariots and his horsemen. The, Egypt, the Egyptians would know that I'm the Lord, and I would gain glory through Pharaoh, his chariots, and his and his horsemen. God asked Moses, said, Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. Tell them to move on. Tell them to go forward. Tell them to press on. Tell, tell them to, 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 to keep going. When you start talking, when people start talking about moving forward, um, I believe that in some, I believe in some cases it's easier said than done. In some cases, moving on or moving forward is easier said than done. You could be in a place where you're about to move forward, and instead of being like, excited and having joy. And this 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 great sense of um, again excitement about moving forward, you can get gripped with this fear. You 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 can you can get gripped with with this with with with, with this with this with this fear. And what I call the the the, the iron grip of the status quo. It's in 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 and you're excited and you should be excited, but there's this 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 fear and this reluctance, it's this 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 reservation that holds you back, that that holds you back. And there's something in you that's saying, okay, this next move going forward, moving on is gonna be good for me. But yet I don't really know what to expect. So it's it's this. I'm comfortable right here. I'm 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 comfortable right here. I don't know how comfortable I'm going to be if I make this step forward and if I if I press on and if I move on and if I make this step um forward. So where God is trying to get you, get us to move on, to move forward into a better place. We become comfortable in the place we, we're in and we become comfortable with the status quo. And in us, and instead of us, <laughs> instead of us having this, 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 this excitement about this change, this positive change that's about to happen, we become immobilized by our fear. We become immobilized by, by our fear. I want I, I want I want you to know something about about moving forward. And I'm gonna give you a couple of things, and I'm not gonna be long. Y'all just rock with me for about maybe 20 minutes, and I'm, I'm gonna be out your way. One thing I've discovered about moving on and moving forward, I've discovered this. I, I, I've discovered this that you will miss out on the greatness that God has for you when you're unwilling or when you don't move on you, you you will miss out on the greatness that god has for you that god has planned for you when you're unwilling to move on there, there, there are so many people there are so many people man that feel stuck in the status quo they, they 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 feel stuck. They know they should move. They know they should press. They 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 know it, but the but the uncertainty, the fear of uncertainty, just kind of keeps them where they are. And I get it. I I've, I've been there. I've, I've, I've been there. The, 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 the fear of the unknown is like I'm comfortable. It's like I'm good. But I, you know that God is telling you just like he told the Israelites, move on. And it's funny. And it's funny because when 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 God asked Moses the question, he asked Moses the question. He says, why are you crying out to me? Why, why are you why, why, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. What if, what if we're crying out 
and we really don't have to? What if we're crying out when all we really have to do is move forward? We're crying out. We're crying out to God. And God is saying, why are you crying out to me? Why are you crying out? Just go, just, just move on. Just, 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 just move on. But Moses teaches us and shows us that apparently moving forward or moving on is sometimes easier said than done. Sometimes it's easier said than done. I want to give you a couple ways. I want to give you a couple ways, a few ways. I want to show you how to move forward. How, how to move forward. The first way you move forward is it takes knowing and understanding that you're headed to something better. It takes knowing and understanding that you're headed to something better. Just like I just told you, you will miss out on the greatness that God has planned for you when you don't move forward. You, 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 you will miss out. G Jesus says this. Jesus, Jesus says, I go, I go and prepare a place for you so that where I am that you, you will also be. You have to recognize and realize that where you are is temporary. Where you are right now, this is only temporary. A lot of times, and, and some of you may have heard me say this, especially those um, that, that, that are part of the Hollywood Hampton family. A lot of times we build houses in places where God then called us to pitch tents. I'm going to say that again. A lot of times we build houses in places where God has called for us to pitch tents. In other words, you were never designed. The goal was to never was was never for you to stay in that place. Mm. It's a temporary place. So 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 if you're gonna move forward, you have to understand that. Watch this. That I'm heading somewhere that's better. There's something better for me ahead. But if I get too comfortable where I am, I'll forfeit. I'll forfeit the thing that's that's ahead of me, the great thing that God has ahead of me. If I get too comfortable right here, if I get too comfortable in in in, in, in this in this process, if I get too comfortable in this way of doing things, if I get too comfortable in this system, I always tell people never make systems sacred. Never make systems sacred. Now, I normally talk about that in, in a work context, but it actually can apply in a church context, too, is that don't make a system sacred. In other words, you got to be able to you got to be able to move on from a system. You got to be able to move on from a process. But that's a whole nother conversation. But watch this. You, you have to know and understand that where I'm headed is better. Where, where I'm headed. Is better. This is not the place where you rest. This is not the place where you, 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 this is it. There's something else ahead. You got to move on because if you don't move on, you're going to miss out. This is, this is what the airlines will call. This is, this, this is, a, this is not the final destination. This, this is just the layover. This this is this is this is not the final destination. Th this is just your 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 layover. Type that in the comment section. Just 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 type in type in the chat. Just type layover. You're you're in a layover. Let people laugh. Let people look at you. Let people judge. Let people say what they want to say. But they don't understand that where they're seeing you now is a layover. This ain't the final destination. This is not the final stop for your life. This is not, God is not done. This is not the final place. You're just in a layover right now. And for some of you, the reason you feel so strong, the, <laughs> the reason you feel frustrated is because, watch this, because you, 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 you're you so ready to get to your, to, to your layover. You're so ready to get to your final destination. 
and you didn't got comfortable in the layover because you're trying to figure out, God, when is the time going to come? When am I when am I going to be able to board and take off and and and, and go forward? When when when, when is that going to happen? Have 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 you have have you ever noticed? Have you ever noticed? Have you ever noticed that uh, you don't go to the baggage claim during a layover? Have 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 I have have y'all ever have a, a, a experienced that? I got some some frequent flyers and travelers and all that type of stuff. I got some trip takers. Have you ever noticed that whenever you go to, whenever you have a layover, you never go to baggage claim. You only go to claim baggage when you arrive at your final destination. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You only, you, 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 you only go to baggage claim when you arrive at your final destination. I want to tell five people this right here. I want to tell five people this right here. Don't you claim nothing that don't say final destination. Don't you, don't you claim nothing that don't say final destination. Man, I felt the praise break right there. Yes, I did. Yes, 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 I did too. Don't claim nothing if it ain't got nothing to do with your final destination. Don't claim nothing that ain't got nothing to do with where you're headed. Just say, this this place where you are right now, you're headed to somewhere better. I know the airport nice. I know it look good. I know you like, you know, wow, this is great. But this is not where you're going to stay. This is not, not, the, not the final stop. So I want you to know and understand that there's better ahead for you. There's better ahead, ahead, ahead for you. Watch this. You got to be willing to move out of your place of comfort. Got to be move, willing to move out of your place of comfort. The children of Israel was comfortable in Egypt. They were they 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 they, they were used to settling. They was they was fine. They they, they was fine. Let me tell y'all something about moving forward, man, or moving on. It takes courage to move forward. It takes courage to move forward. They actually went so far to say it would have been better for us to be slaves in Egypt than to die in this desert. You, you can you can put this in the comment section or just keep it in, in, in your notes. Success doesn't happen in comfort zones. Success doesn't happen in comfort zones. If you're going to embrace this shift, embrace moving forward, if you go, if you, if you want to be successful in anything, it's always going to happen outside of you being comfortable. Outside of you being comfortable, the children of Israel was comfortable in Egypt. But what God wanted to do and what success looked like for them, it wasn't there in their comfort zone. You got to be willing to step up. Man, even if, even if you desire God to use you. If your prayer is simply God use me, and I know that's a lot of people's prayer, a lot of people desire. I just want to be used by God. Well, baby, you can't be used by God and want to be comfortable at the same time. You you can either be comfortable or you can be used, but you can't do both. You can you can either be comfortable or you can be used by Him, but you cannot do both. So it takes knowing that I'm headed somewhere better. And I know this is uncomfortable. This, this is this, this, <laughs> this challenges every every part of me, but I know and I understand that when I make this move forward, I know it's it's for something that's better. 
and you're gonna have to build up the courage. You're gonna have to you 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 gonna you gonna have to build up uh, 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 the faith to 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 do it. But you have to know that it's somewhere better. Is leading you to somewhere better. A lot of times, the first response to moving out of a comfort zone is to go back, is to retreat. Have y'all ever noticed that? Have y'all have y'all have have y'all ever noticed that? Raise your hand with me if you've if you've noticed that. That the first response when you're outside of your comfort zone is to go back to what you're comfortable with. Oh, y'all ain't gonna tell the truth. Tell the truth, shame the Whenever you start to move out of your comfort zone, your first reaction is to be like, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. This ain't it, this ain't it. Go back, go back, this ain't it. This ain't it. Start to move outside your comfort zone again. Go back. Go back. This ain't it. This ain't it. No, uh, this ain't it. Go back to what go back to what's safe. Go go back to what's safe. Go back to what's comfortable. Go back to what's what's convenient. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. God open the door for you. God favors you. God gives you. Uh, 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 you, you, you get a new job, you get a new position, you get, you get, a, you get a promotion and watch this. And it's starting to get challenging and it, and it pulls you outside of your comfort zone. Your first thought is I should go back to, I should go back. I should go back. I should go back to my other position. I should go back um, to the place I was at. Watch this because that's the first, that's the first thing that we do. Whenever we're moved out of our comfort zone, our first reaction is to ret retreat or our first response is to retreat and go back. And the children of Israel, that's what their first response when they was getting out of their comfort zone. They first thing was like, now nah, let's just go back. This is not it for us. This is not it. Come on. Let's we were straight. We don't want to die here. We going back. And, 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 and that's how we are. Watch this. The, the Bible says this. The Bible says that anyone who puts his hand to the plow and then looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. If anybody puts his hand to the plow and then looks back, he is not fit for the kingdom of God. Watch this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to let y'all see something that, that I, 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 I never saw in this text. I, I just saw it. Just so I had never saw it. Saw it today. He says, anyone who puts his hand to the plow and then look back. Watch this. So what he's saying, you cool to look back as long as you ain't got your hand on this plow. He said, but if you put your hand on the plow and then look back, then you ain't fit. And that text got me tripping. That 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 got me tripping. And I was like, hold on, what 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 the world? What's what's happening here? What 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 what's 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 happening here? Watch this. A plowman, a a, a plowman, for him to be successful at his work, he had to concentrate on what was in front of him. Mm. He knows that the only way forward, the only way for him to go forward is not is 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 him not being distracted by stuff behind him. Yeah. So, and that's what it's, the, the text is talking about. It, it says, it, it, it says, if any man put his hands to the plow and then look back. As long as you ain't got your hand on your plow, go ahead on. But the moment you put your hands to the plow, you can't look back because you have to stay focused on what's in front of you. You have to stay focused on it's in front of you. And then this really got me tripping right here. This this really this really got me tripping. And we had we had church off this. Watch this. In case or if the if the if the plowman start to look back, his plow line would be crooked. Oh. 
he can't look back. When he put his hand to that plow, the only place he can look is forward. Because if he look black back, his plow line is going to be crooked. And if the plow line is crooked, then the field he is plowing won't have a full harvest. Y'all missing what I'm just saying. Y'all, y'all, y'all missed it. I think y'all missed that. Watch this. Check this out. When he put his hands to that plow, he got to concentrate on what's ahead of him. Because if he don't, if he don't, his plow line is going to be crooked. And if the plow line is crooked, then the field that he's plowing won't yield a full harvest. Man. Some of us, some of us, watch this. Look at what God has done, done in our life. Look at the harvest that we've had. And some of us didn't look back. What would our harvest look like if we just go forward? <sighs> See, that's why, that's why, that's why I feel my help, but I'm trying to calm down. That's why you can't go back. Oh. You can't go back. Forget looking back. Forget going back. I ain't even looking back. I can't go back because if I don't, I'm gonna miss some of my harvest. That's why. That's 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 why. And 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 y'all know I'm I'm not the, the the hater preacher and 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 always just want to talk about relationships, even though I think that's important. But watch it. There there, there are some things you can't go back to. There are some people you cannot go back to because if you do it, if you do, you're going to forfeit some of your harvest. You're going to forfeit some of your harvest. And ain't nobody, nobody good enough to make me forfeit the full harvest that God has for me in my life. So I can't look back. I can't look back. I know it might be uncomfortable. You, it, 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 it might not be what you thought, and it's going to pull you out your comfort zone, but you got to stay looking forward so that you can reap your full harvest. Y'all give God a hand clap of praise right there. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. Come on. Yeah, you can do it. Do it in the chat. Do it in the comment. Like the hit the like button and the hearts and all that type stuff. Yeah, do all that type stuff. Throw the clapping emoji in the comment section. That's a good place to give God some praise. And then after after you type that, type in the type in the comment section. I can't go back. I go back, it's going to mess up my harvest. If I go back, I'm going to miss some stuff. If I go if I, if I, if, 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 if I go, go back now, I'm not going to get the full reward. Nah, fam, I, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I cannot go back. I've come too far. <laughs> I've come too far to turn around now. Do I got anybody in here that know what I'm talking about? I've come too far to turn around now. I cannot go back. I can't go back. I don't care. I, I don't care who's talking. I don't care who's judging. I don't, I, 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 don't, I don't care about none of that. I, I don't care about none of that. But you know within yourself how far you've come. And you can't look back. You can't go back because what I'm not going to. OK. All right. OK. All right. There you go, Talisha. I, 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 I can't. I can't. And I won't go back. I can't. I like that. I can't. And I and I won't go back. Oh, man. OK. OK. Three, three, for, 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 for two minutes, for two minutes, for two minutes, for two minutes, for two minutes. I'm going to say that I'm going to make this statement. I told you, if we was in church, this, this might be, the, this might be a wrap. 
for, but for two, I want to say this. I want to say this, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we, for one minute, we're gonna chew on this for one minute. We're gonna let this marinate for one minute. I'm gonna make this statement. You know how much hell I had to endure to get to this place, and you think I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn around? Come on, who got that testimony? I've had to go through hell and high water. And you think that I'm going to turn around and miss everything that God has for me that's ahead of me? The devil is a lie. The, 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 the devil is a lie. Uh-uh, nobody, nobody. Mama, daddy, siblings, nobody. Uh-uh, no, 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 no. After everything that you've had to endure, and go through all the tears and the pain and the and the downs and the not knowing and the confusion and the frustration and the stress and the not having enough and the praying and all of this type stuff, all of that mess that you had to endure. And you mean to tell me that you think that I'm going I'm I'm going back. When I had to fight with everything that was in me just to get to this place where I am right now. Uh, you had to put up with craziness, foolishness, all types of stuff. Rejection, depression, sadness. You had to put up with all this stuff just to get where you are right now. And people think that you're going to entertain going back. You think I'm going to entertain going. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care how you feel about me. <laughs> that's, re that's, that's really none of my business. But I do know this. I do know this. I've had to come a long way. Had to come through a whole lot to get to this place. And I refuse to go back. Watch this. Uh, what time is it? Okay. Y'all give me give me five, give me five more minutes. Moving forward involves having faith in God. Mm. Bible says this. God told Moses, he said, Moses, raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide the water so that the Israelites can go through on dry, dry land. Moses had two problems. They had two problems. He had the Egyptians behind him and the Red Sea in front of him. He had two problems. He had he had the Egyptians behind him in the Red Sea in front of him. Now, the thing with Moses' situation is kind of just like a lot of our situations. <laughs> Going back really won an option. Because if we went back, they probably would have died. So going back ain't an option. So since going back ain't no option, I might well just go forward. Since going back ain't no option, I'm, 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 I might, I might as well just trust God and go forward. This is why we have to have faith in God and trust God and go forward. This is what I want you to get. Because God will never perform a miracle behind you. Oh, my goodness. God's next miracle for your life is the one that's in front of you, not the one that's behind you. All right, that's it. I got to go. I got to go. Y y yeah. God's next miracle for your life is not behind you. It's in front of you. 
because God would never perform a miracle in the back. <laughs> He'll never perform a miracle in the back. He'll always perform a miracle in the front. Woo, 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 woo. Mm, mm, mm. Check this out. The problem that was behind him got dealt with when he moved forward in what God had told him. Watch this. The problem that was behind him got dealt with when he moved on to what was in front of him. So the thing that was behind him, when he, when they moved forward, when they moved on, that problem got handled. When you make a decision to move forward, what's behind you becomes obsolete. When you make a decision to move forward, what's behind you becomes obsolete. Mm, 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 mm. You got to have faith in God. You can put this in your notes. To participate in a divine transaction, we have to depart from human reasoning. To participate in a divine transaction, you have to depart from human, human reasoning. Meaning, that what's in front of you, you got to trust God. You got to have faith in God. You got to get rid of all of your human reason, human reasoning and have complete and total faith in God. That God, I know that when I move forward, I know there's a miracle in me moving forward. And when I move forward, you're going to handle the thing that's behind me. Your forward progress is going to make what's behind you obsolete. The reason some of us are still fighting stuff that's behind us is because we ain't moved forward. If you just move forward, I guarantee you the thing that's behind you won't even matter. Your forward progress will handle what's behind you. So you got to have enough faith to move forward. You got to have enough faith to move forward. Because when you move on, the miracle in front of you, the, the going to the miracle in front of you will handle the stuff that's behind you. Your greatest miracle. Woo, hallelujah. Come on, man. Your greatest miracle is not what God did. Your greatest miracle is what God is about to do. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your greatest miracle is not what God did. That's the one that's behind you. Your greatest miracle is what he's about to do. That's the one that's in front of you. All right. So I told you three things. How to move forward. It takes knowing and understanding that you're headed to something better. Well, actually, I think I told you too. I got one more to give you. M moving forward requires faith in God. Here's the thing. The next thing. Moving forward involves a change in mindset. The children of Israel had developed this slave mentality. And Moses was trying to get them to have a freedom mentality. It's hard to be free when slavery got you. It's hard to be free when slavery got you. So it's going to have to be a change in your attitude. About moving forward. That God, I know that what's 
what you have before me is greater than anything that's behind me. All right, I'm out of time. Yep, out of time. So I told you this. It takes knowing and understanding that you're headed to something better. It requires faith in God. Moving forward involves faith in God. And moving forward involves a change in your mindset. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, God. I thank you for every person, God, that have tuned in that will that's watched this live and made it even watching this later. And Father, I pray, God, that you would touch our hearts and our minds. And Father, give us the courage and the, the faith, God, to step out of comfort zones and move forward. God, for somebody, God, it's moving forward, God, in their career. For somebody, God, is moving forward, God, in deepening their relationship with you. For somebody, is moving forward in their calling and what it is that you've called them to do. For some, God, is moving forward and moving on. God in serving God in some in some capacity, but God, whatever it is, Father, I pray now that the Holy Spirit God will give them wisdom, will give them insight, Father, and remind them, God, that you uh, are God that loves us, and Father, you have plans for us, and that's plans, God, to bring us to an expected end, and not plans plans to harm us. So, Father, we step out in faith, God. We 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 step in faith, knowing God that the greatest miracle, God, is the one that stand that is right before us. And Father, we trust you, God, that whatever our Red Sea moment may be, that Father, that we'll step. And Father, we know that when we step, God, that that thing that represents Pharaoh, Father, we know God that it'll become obsolete when we make a decision to move forward. And now, Father, I pray blessings over every person, God, that is. Watch this live and that'll watch this later. I pray, oh God, life, health, and prosperity to be upon them now. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless y'all, man. Thank y'all so much um, for, for hanging out with me um, tonight. I appreciate your time. Um, I appreciate your attention and your engagement. Thank you so much. Um, man, I want to ask you to give. The ways to give are right there on the screen. If you was blessed by this um, and, and, and you this added some value to you. Uh, here's a way that you can respond. Um, you can give right there. The way to give towards the ministry is right there um, on the screen. So and I say thank you in advance. Thank you in advance for your giving. We appreciate your giving. Thank you so much. Um, we, we appreciate it. Um, also, if you're in the Hampton, Newport News area, if you're in the you're in 757, um, Suffolk, Smithfield, um, Carrollton, um, there's Portsmouth, Chesapeake. Uh, if you're in the area, man, I want to invite you to join us and worship with us um, every Sunday at 930 a.m. at 120 Old Hampton Lane um, in Hampton, Virginia. It's right there at the Hampton History Museum in the, in the beautiful um, downtown um, Hampton area. So um, come out and join us. I, I believe that you'll be blessed. Um, I believe that you will be strengthened and encouraged. And I believe that you'll have an encounter and an experience with God that will cause your life to be forever changed. So um, I want to extend an invitation to you. Um, Highway Hampton, I want to send an invitation to you and, and to your families and your friends. Um, invite somebody to church, man. Invite somebody to church. Um, be intentional. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. So you got time. You got time um, to shoot somebody a text, a call, uh, a message, um, a social media message. You got time to extend that invitation and say, hey, look, what you're doing Sunday, um, I want to invite you to church. Um, so please do that. Please please do that. Um, uh, I, I think now more than ever, I think now more than ever, um, it's important for us to reconnect with the local church. Uh, most importantly, though, reconnect with God if, you, if you, you've gotten disconnected. Um, I believe that God is doing something in the body right now. I believe God is moving all across this this world right now um and we just want to play our part we just want to do our part so um those that are hurting those that don't know christ those that have even given up on church yeah we believe in god invite them bring them in um we believe that the holy spirit um will revive their relationship um even with even with the church so all right man thank y'all so much i don't want to leave without speaking um to y'all so don't y'all do the same don't y'all leave without speaking so i'm gonna speak i got about maybe two minutes and then i'm gonna let you go thank y'all for giving i appreciate it
What's up, Marcus? Blessings to you, man. Deacon Owens, you have a blessed week as well. Appreciate you. Good night, Crystal. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you. What's up, Chuck? Appreciate you, brother. Blessings to you, man. All right, I got about one more minute. Hey, Talisha, you have a good night as well. Blessings to you. We appreciate you. Good night, mama. We appreciate you. Love you. Elder Owens, you have a good night. We appreciate you. Love you. Got one more minute. One more minute. All right, everybody, y'all have a good night, and uh, we will see y'all on Sunday. Y'all take care and have a good rest of your week.